news reports and find the main points um, and then how to take those main points, turn them into uh, sentences with support and then to go back and to write our introductory sentence and our conclusion sentence. What we're going to talk about today is how to do your uh, one world response and if we look at our instructions for the one world response we have two different options, option A and option B. Today we're going to talk about option A, which is to describe the implications of the scientific developments and their applications to local and or global issues by choosing one of the following factors. And they have a list there. So when we're looking at uh, the supposedly extinct red fox, we need to think about that and my suggestion is the first thing you do is decide whether or not this is a local issue, a global issue, or is it actually something that can be looked at for both local and global. I think when we're talking about the red fox in a very small portion of the Sierra Nevada mountains that that's mostly a local issue. So we're going to try and deal with the local issues there and not as much about the global issues. So that's our first choice, is that we're going to think about it from a local perspective. We then need to think about which of the following factors is best uh, able to talk about all of the things that we have there. Is the discovery okay, of the scientific development, really being the discovery of the fox, is that a moral issue? Does it have to do with beliefs about right and wrong? Or political issues. Um, it, it can probably be political if, if we wanted to think that way, but there's not much evidence in the article for that, um, nor is there much ethical and cultural. Um, what I want us to avoid, though, is to just assume that because it's talking about an animal outside that it's automatically environmental. That's not necessarily the case. Does the discovery of the red fox actually Talk, does it talk about the implications and what that means for the environment of the Sierra Nevada? And I don't really think the article is discussing that too much. However, in our main points, we did see one of the major things was that scientists are unsure about its survival um, and that there's a conflict of the land use with the Marines and the proposed snowmobile park. So I think if we think about that, this what's the major impact of this new discovery? It's actually on uh, the US Army and on a recreational business. So I think there's a pretty strong economic impact. So we've narrowed it down. We're gonna discuss the Red Fox now from a local and economic impact. Okay. Now, when we do that, the, the best way it is to probably uh, consider some of the um, positives and negatives of that. So I'm going to just go ahead and use my same mind map and just to write down a few of my ideas. Okay, so we're going to drag a new node out there for my one world. You probably shouldn't do this. In fact, I don't want you to do this on yours. Um, so maybe this is a bad example. But just to categorize my thoughts, the, the first idea is that this is a local issue, okay? And that's local to the Sierra Nevada mountains. And that this is also uh, a economic issue because of the Marines, and the snowmobiles. Oops. Snowmobiles. Okay. So if we look at those things, let's maybe give myself some more room over here. So it's a local economic issue. Um, and what I want us to consider in, in terms of the, the economic issue are some pluses and minuses. We should start to think of this as uh, 
the, in the implications, what are some of the positives and the negatives? Well, one of the negative implications um, might be for the uh, Marines, um, if they have to move, then they're going to have to spend lots of money to, to move. Okay, so if the Marines have to spend lots of money to move, that will become expensive. Okay, um, as well as the snowmobiles, if they have to move or if they can't build there, then those people might actually uh, lose money. Okay, they might not have to spend more, but they might lose the opportunity to spend money. Um, but are there any positive implications, okay? What are some of the, are there any positive effects of finding uh, the red fox? Well, it may provide, uh, so we'll call this positives. Positives, it may provide jobs for researchers. So maybe not as big of an impact. We go, wow, the Marines might lose a lot of money. Seems to be more negatives than maybe positives. Uh, but that's what we want to consider. First, what is the local issue? And is it in what context? It's economic. Um, and then what are some of the positives and negatives? And we're going to turn those into our sentences. We're going to come over here, and we're going to say... Um, and then just write in introduction sentence to hold my place. And then we're going to write our main points. Okay. So we might say the discovery of the red fox. Okay. That's the scientific implication. Okay. Will have an impact, not implact, sorry an impact on the local Sierra Nevada region. Some of the economic impacts will be on the Marines and local snowmobiles. Snow, oh, I'll say local snowmobile uh, businesses. Okay, so we've got a uh, something about the local, the the and the economic to support that. So we then could talk about the Marines and snowmobile businesses. could be, again, this is not for sure, but could be negatively affected if they have to move in order to create a space for the fox to live. Okay. So I've created a sentence, and this is my second main point, really, of my uh, one world, okay, some positive economic impacts might be the creation of new jobs for researchers studying the fox. Okay, so I've got my three main points. Uh, <clears throat> setting it into the local or the global and the economic or the social or whatever. And then uh, some of the positive impacts, some of the negative impacts, and then my conclusion sentence. Okay, We then would go back and uh, sum it all up. And that might become an introduction sentence such as uh, 
the one world. Now nah, let's not say one world. The the new found red fox is exciting, but has many uh, implications for the local area. Okay, we'll have we'll say have many economic implications for the local area. So I'm kind of summing all that back up. And then in my conclusion sentence, I might say something like, um, the discovery of the red fox may have many large uh, negative effects on the businesses and government, but it has not yet been decided if these will take place. So we, we don't know if these are for certain. You might also talk about how the compare the positives and the negatives uh, in all of these things. I now have a one world response. It gets all of the parts I need, the local versus the global, the economic, and talking about the pot, some of the positives and negatives to, to balance out our discussion. Next time we're going to talk about vocabulary.